This is Replicant Fish. Welcome back. Glad you could join me again. And I hope you're focused and on your square. 10 Surprising Body Changes Women Go Through in Their 30s. Also known as The Wall. So maybe that's why in China, The Wall is 27 as a sort of, as a sort of last chance sort of thing. Because as we all know, past the age of 35, to date or marry... A woman, yeah, it's fine. Do whatever you want to do. You know, if you want to, if you want to sacrifice yourself in such a way, that's fine. Enjoy life. However, to start a family now with such a woman is going to be a little bit more difficult. Now, some would say, how sexist? And I would say, no, how scientific? How the fact proves itself anyway. And how this video will prove the fact anyway. It's not just me being sexist. You're going to hear women themselves making the exact same points men like myself make. But they might not get such a kick out of it, you know, like me. So that's... <laughs> Seriously. But one of the saddest things as a man I see in women is a woman that was so hot. I mean, she was fine. Yeah, I mean, many of you, I mean, many of you men listening, you know what I mean. A chick you once knew, she was fine. Oh my God. And now it's like, ah, yeah, she looks like a dinosaur. (laughs) But jokes aside, it's one of the saddest things as a man to see. A woman's looks fade. Value to some men has lowered. And if it's not just the age, it could also be the baggage. You know, all she may have been through in her years. Yeah, so long as you're not the man to come along and save her in her dire straits. Yeah, Yeah. then it's a different story. But enough waffling, enough waffling. I've done too much already. Let's begin. 10 Surprising Body Changes Women Go Through in Their 30s. It's Jessica Alba. I didn't know she had so many kids. And Jessica Alba. No one cares. Obviously still a good looking woman, but not as she wants, you know. Just being honest. When a woman reaches her 30s, her body will begin to defy her in some pretty unpleasant ways, but it's not all bad. Sometimes these changes encourage us to slow it down and take it easy because we certainly deserve it. Really, come on. You can't tell modern women to slow down and stop. That's wrong. That's blasphemous. No women, turn up. Forever turn up. Keep having fun. Never stop. Never stop. Men, pay attention. So in this video, we'll talk about just that. But before we begin, make sure you're subscribed to our channel because we publish new videos every day. And most importantly, we want you to join our community of boss ladies. Yeah, everything she just said except for the boss ladies. Yes, nothing but men around here. And yes, obviously, yes, women. I know I have some female subscribers. Give her the day. Disgusting. Shout out. Yeah. But you're in a man community, so therefore you're a bastard. Accept it. Just like a woman. With that out of the way, let's get started. Number one, your metabolism slows down. It's hardly fair. Up until age 30, your metabolism is about as fast as it's ever going to be. Late night snacking and junk food are no longer an option. And I do say this to women, women that I know and female family members. The thing is, they don't listen. They don't believe you. They think, oh no, I'm going to be fine. My body's going to snap back like it always does. No, it won't. No, it won't, women. Suck it. You think men are complaining so much about fat women nowadays for no reason? It's not for no reason, women. It's because a lot of men are seeing a lot of overweight women. You know? Oh, God. It's, 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 you know, it's in some way depressing because it's like men are visual. So it's like, uh, why are so many women overweight? Especially after 30. But then obviously, it's natural. It's natural. It's still sad, though. Changing your bad habits before this becomes a problem is ideal, but sometimes these things catch up with us. Eating healthy and exercising every day are the best ways to combat a slowing metabolism. Well, come on, yes, of course, many modern women do exercise constantly. Good on you. And as many men should as well. Good on you. The thing is, we live in a very vain and instant time. Many women just get surgery, you know, get a tummy tuck, get some new boobs, Get a new butt, even a new vag, even a new vag, even a new vag, like Jada Pinkett. So like an old house, many women can get their walls replastered and remastered, (laughs) right? (laughs) Oh God, that's, yeah. Number two, hangovers are a lot worse. In your 20s, you were able to drink and party all night and still be functional the next morning. 
for those who worked on the weekends, partying still had to happen and handling a workday hungover was kind of normal. In your 30s, this changes. Women feel the effects of a hangover much more, making it less appealing to party hard, knowing that we will certainly pay for it the next day. Yep, and many women end up looking disheveled, distressed, and depressed as well. And when some women wonder why some men don't approach them, it's because we can see you look like this. We can see you kind of look like crap. Not to be insulting, but you, there's a lot going on, you know? You know, as men, sometimes we can see that there's a lot going on. You look kind of crazy and like, damn, who crapped in your fridge? Like, it's like someone crapped in her fridge. She looks that like depressed and bitter. It's like, wow. Yeah. So yeah, women, some of you look like someone crapped in your fridge. I'm just saying. Number three, you start seeing first signs of aging. It's a natural and normal part of life, but when it creeps up on you, it can feel pretty unpleasant. Yeah, drink up, drink up. In our 20s, we have hopefully moved past acne and awkwardness and into clear skin and confidence. Yeah. But when the 30s hit, we notice other problems with our skin. Well, it happens as a woman when you smash into the wall. You know, the wall's so abrasive, it kind of rubs your skin off. I'm just, I'm joking, I'm joking. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous, I know. But for many women, they still have tons of simps that are always going to chase them anyway, so, yeah. Is it really going to start going downhill that fast? Yes, yes. All right, all right. I said that too quickly, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> In some cases, yes, it can for some women that don't keep up with themselves, yeah. The wall is undefeated. It's undefeated. Men keep saying it for a reason, women. We keep saying it for a reason. Nah, but it can feel that way when we spot our first wrinkle. Fear not, the aging process is a long one, thank goodness. Number four, your period can get worse. Damn, I never thought of that one. But then again, I am a man. Some say a misogynistic man, so of course I would not think of the pain of women. You know, the pain that women go through in their times of the month. You know, as a man, I can talk of the pain of living with a woman, being with a woman, whether you're dating her or living with her, and her going through these monthly periods. I can talk of the pain of that though. I can talk about the man pain of dealing with a woman going through her crap. Hormones all over the place. You know, she's losing her flipping mind. Uh, let me just stop there. Let me stop there for a good, before I get too deep. You're just jealous. Teens can sometimes have brutal periods, but by age 20, the worst is usually over. Until you turn 30, that is. For some of us, those excruciating cramps and heavy days can return with a vengeance. Missing work and spending the day in bed is not unheard of anymore. It can be pretty disheartening to be bedridden by your period after you thought you had it under control. Thankfully, there is help and your doctor can lead you in the right direction to ease some of the discomfort and pain. Number five, you'll find your first gray hair. You know, the sad thing is, for many men, if we do take care of ourselves, we can actually age much better than women and we do for the most part. It's like women have their most valuable years in their 20s and parts of their 30s. But for many men, their highest value is 30s upwards. Interesting, isn't it? No matter how much women peak earlier, they never peak as much as men do in the long run. So maybe this is why some men just laugh, knowing that in the end, they can actually run through a cycle of, you know, decent looking 20 year olds and early 30 year old women if they want to, depending on how old they are, you know? <laughs> oh God, it's so difficult being a man. Yeah, men, yeah, the world's yours. While it's nothing to panic about, some women will rush to the salon for an immediate cover-up. It's rare to see a woman embrace her gray hair, especially in her 30s, but it would be a nice change of pace. Until then, the salons are ready and willing to keep the gray hairs at bay. Yes, and many, many, many companies, pay attention men, many companies are there to make sure they can slow the aging process for women and make loads of money off women in the process of slowing their aging process. The fountain of youth is nothing but an ad in 2021. Gray hair is simply gray hair and does not by its virtue age a woman, but for some reason it sure can feel that way. Number six, hair sprouts in unwanted places. What? Oh God, oh God. Oh, I probably should have reviewed this video first. I didn't know that, I didn't know this one was in there. Oh, it's probably gonna get a bit disturbing. Oh, oh. One thing as a man, hair in certain places on a woman is such a turn off, it's unbelievable. Women with mustaches and, and hair on their chins, oh God, I'm sorry. It's, it, oh man, 
it's it's so off-putting it's unbelievable not being rude or vulgar i know it's a human thing i know women do actually grow facial hair yes yes men yes men women do grow facial hair they, they just have to shave it what but oh yeah yeah, I'm just saying, I'm going to make myself sick. Sure, women in their 20s might have a little peach fuzz on their upper lip. Yeah, certain women are sporting full goatees. But women in their 30s can have long, gnarly black hairs sprouting from their chin. Oh, God. Oh, oh, this is really freaking me out. You know, of all the things, <laughs> of many things I've had in my videos, this one's really freaking me out. In an age where hair free is the gold standard for women, it can be depressing to be plucking hairs each day. Number seven, you don't heal as quickly. Wow, women, it's like your Wolverine powers are failing. No, you're just a regular woman. Yeah, we as men know this, you're just a regular woman. Long gone are the days when you could party all night and still get up for work in the morning. Those were the things women could do in their superhuman 20s. Yeah, yeah, superhuman, please. Bullshit. The 30s slowed down a lot of things for women, like our ability to heal and recover from a night or day of drinking. Number eight, fingernails stop cooperating. No one cares. Number nine, your back will start to hurt. Who knows why back pain makes its entrance at 30? Maybe because of all the D she had in her 20s. Yeah, she got her back broken. Yeah, the way she wanted. Yeah, <laughs> now it's damaged forever. Yep, Wolverine power's gone, woman. Maybe it's because women in their 30s are usually working. I'm joking, by the way. I'm joking. I'm, I'm joking, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> full time and raising kids so their backs become completely overworked and exhausted much like them or it could be that we might be carrying a little more weight than we used to either way it sure does make one feel old when they have to grunt and groan to get out of bed in the morning come on, a woman grunting and groaning come on many women are masters of that already all good at faking it at least and forget about getting up off the floor after you've gotten down to play with the kids Number 10, it's not really that big of a deal and you're still attractive. Women may feel down about aging and all the changes that happen to their bodies in their 30s, but the truth is men do not care one bit about a gray hair or brittle nails. Bullshit. That's a lie. They think women in their 30s are hotties. Yes, many women in their 30s are indeed hotties, of course. A lot of them are still fine. Still don't want to start a family with them. Just like women in their 20s or 40s or even 50s. No, 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 no. We need to stop doing that. We need to stop doing that. Women, you can lie to yourselves all you want to. We as men know. Nah, nah, please. In fact, men love women a lot. Silence, you fool. Because yes, women's looks are their value. But also is their fertility. For men that want to build empires... They can't build empires without healthy seed offspring to carry on said empire. It's a simple thing that many modern women don't seem to get nowadays or just don't care about. That's why we as men have to care so much. Here, here, woof, woof, as men, yeah. In other words, in other words, in other words. Focus. Observe. Remember. The world is yours. Have a nice day.